Defense Ministry to float tender for 12 minesweepers. India is soon expected to float a fresh tender to build 12 mine countermeasure vessels, MCMVs, popularly called minesweepers, in collaboration with a foreign shipyard under a 32,640 crore program, one of the costliest projects under the Make in India initiative, said a top government official familiar with the development. The request for proposals could be out by the year end, said Rear Admiral Shikhar Middle, RETD, who heads Goa Shipyard Limited, GSL, that will build the MSMVs or minesweepers in India. South Korean shipyard Kangnam Corporation and Italian shipbuilder Intermarine are expected to compete for the lucrative project. Both shipyards responded to an Indian request for expression of interest EOE, for the project in May. The Navy is finalizing its qualitative requirements for the minesweepers before holding discussions with the Defense Ministry to take the project ahead, Middle said. Indian Navy gets $600 million machines to make breathing easy in nuclear submarines. The Indian Navy's submarine crew got a $600 million Deuce Air gift from Russia, machines called Moisture Separator Reheaters MSRs, that will make their life underwater easier. The MSRs will be particularly useful for the nuclear submarines India is building and the deal with Russia is an indicator that New Delhi is steadfast in its commitment to the project to build nuclear subs, sources said. Nuclear power enables submarines to be underwater for up to two months without having to surface. But submariners, the men manning the boat, need the oxygen from air. The moisture that builds up in the humid, enclosed space in the submarine underwater absorbs oxygen and makes it difficult for crew to breathe and function effectively. MSRs insulate compartments in a submarine from water vapor and make it easier for crew to breathe and function better. HAL's jets costlier than foreign ones, says Defense Ministry Audit. Fighter jets made by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, the Bengaluru-based defense public sector unit, cost more than the same jets produced abroad by the original equipment manufacturer, OEM, a recent review of the state-owned company by the Ministry of Defense, MOD, has found. The Department of Defense Production is studying the document, said an officer aware of the development who did not want to be identified. Su-30 MKI, the mainstay fighters of the Indian Air Force, IAF, which is manufactured by HAL under license from Russia, is about 150 crore rupees costlier than the ones made in Russia. The aircraft produced at HAL comes at a significantly higher cost when compared to direct purchase from the OEM, the document added. A Su-30 MKI made in Russia cost 269.77 crore rupees whereas one made by HAL in India costs 417.69 crore rupees, almost, 150 crore rupees, more per aircraft, the review said. Similarly, there is a huge cost difference between the cost of the Hawk trainer aircraft manufactured by British Aerospace and those made hell. China unveils deadly bomber aircraft, that is, invisible, to radar. China has released a video footage of one of its most powerful unmanned fighting jets, the Wing Long 2. It has the capability to avoid radar detection which makes it almost invisible to detect and can successfully destroy targets with laser-guided missiles. It is speculated that the Wing Long 2 has been developed specifically for the export market and it can be used for surveillance and aerial reconnaissance missions. China will be providing 48 of these drones to the Pakistani Air Force. The aircraft has a maximum payload capacity of 400 kilograms and can also be fitted with a variety of weapons to be used to perform combat and strike operations. The aircraft is remotely controlled by one operator from the ground using consoles.